CPX351 is a liposomal formulation of our very traditional induction chemotherapy. Now, I just mentioned these older patients with AML arising out of myelodysplastic syndrome. When you use the traditional 7 plus 3 or cytarabine combined with an anthracycline on those patients, you get as much toxicity as you get therapeutic benefit. Repackaging those two uh, classes of drugs, cytarabine and an anthracycline, into a lys liposomal formulation minimizes the tissue distribution of the drug, minimizes the toxicity, and yet seems to deliver the therapeutic efficacy to the same degree. So really what you get when you use that drug in that population is you finally get rid of the toxicity problems that we've seen for so long and deliver about the same efficacy that we would want. And so as a result of that, uh, a direct randomized comparison between the traditional 7 plus 3 and CPX351 showed an improvement in overall survival in that population. And the reason it did that was mainly it wasn't toxic to them. So you lost the toxicity but kept the therapeutic efficacy and you brought it up and, we, and so we finally made an advance in that population.